what's up beautiful people i'm gonna show you how to create a self-watering system using a five gallon bucket and some pvc pipe let's get to it what's up beautiful people and welcome to another episode of don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the joneses don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the joneses don't keep up with don't keep don't keep up with the joneses don't, don't keep up with the don't keep up with the Ba -ba 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 What's up, beautiful people? It's me, Ricky Jones Jr., back again for another video. And like I said, in this one, we will be creating some self-watering feeders situation waterers for the chicks, all using, like I said, a five-gallon bucket, PVC pipe, and I do have those little cup situations that I picked up from Amazon. I'll put a link down below for these bad boys where they just tap, 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 and the water comes out. But nonetheless, in it all with the all, we are gonna go ahead and create this system largely because we are trying to get these chicks to be self-sufficient as much as possible uh, so that, you know, we can live life and I can make sure they have enough water during these summer, summer months, okay? So let's go ahead and do that and I'm gonna show you how to do it. We'll talk you through it. And in the meantime, in between time, you can go ahead and click that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it as we are on our way to five. 50,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 with the help of you we can do that thing we can self water these subscribers you know what i'm saying so as you watch this video just click it it'll help okay and i promise you to be some great stuff on this year channel that you will love and appreciate so might as well go ahead and join the mission huh join the family let's go ahead and get to it <laughs> Boom. This is what you want. This is what you want to have. Have it nice and set up. So now all we have to do is do the uh, watering from here or piping, I should say. All right. So at this point, what you want to do is establish how high you want for your piping to uh, sit. And so when I mean by that, you know, establishing obviously like an exit hole, but then from there establishing how high you want your cup feeders to sit. And so if I was to do it like so, it'll look like this and having feeders going from here. I want my, I'm going to do three feeders. That's plenty enough for my chicks. And so I want them to sit right about here, which is going to give them, let me just watch them. Yep. I think that's going to be a perfect amount of space for them to be able to come in, drink and keep it moving. And so let me go from here and get my um, PVC cutting tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut. As you all know, the chicks are uber curious as to what it is that I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm just going to keep going. And so what I have here are two of the water feeders. I'm not going to prime them or uh, cement them right now. I just want to get a fitting and a visual of everything prior to, which, of course, I would recommend as well. And you can pretty much just like free for all it. Look at what's going on. <laughs> Oh, ladies, y'all are so curious. Look at what's going on. See how much space things are and, you know, flow from one another. And then just kind of go from there. I wouldn't put more on it than what it really is as far as difficulty level. I see now I have another cut that I want to make. Boom, boom, boom. And then I'll probably, like, make it all permanent outside of the coop where I'm, like, less bothered. <laughs> Because like I said, the ladies want to know, what are you doing, father? All right, so putting this on the end. And then I have a little cool little thing here that I have, which I'm going to put where I can do like a spin top. So I have like an exit hole from it all, in it all. But ultimately, having it to all sit here is what I am going for. And so now that I know the height in which I want it to be, I can go ahead and drill in my exit hole from where my, um, whatchamacallit, my PVC pipe will come in. So let's be right about there. All right, so now that's opened up. I feel like I want it to come in here and then come into the pipes and then flow like that. So I need a cap. Okay. Oh man, this is cool. It's cool when you get to do it yourself and you get to uh, create it how you want it to be ultimately. And so let me just go with the flow and I know I'm gonna be happy with the outcome. Ha! 
All right, lady, excuse me, excuse me. Creating your water. Boom. And then on this end, I'm gonna put a screw top scenario where I'll be able to drain the water out if necessary when I'm doing some cleanings. But here we are with the fittings here, which I also love. I like how it looks. We're gonna be good to go and flow from here. Three, boom, boom, boom. All right, so let's go ahead and cement these down before we go ahead and uh, cap it off. All right, so this is actually my first time using primer and uh, cement. But nonetheless, after reading the instructions, it doesn't like it's anything too bad, too hard. And so what I'm actually gonna do is just align my fittings and my pipes so that everything is going along one way because I dare not do this and then everything's all different. And so what they say to do is to prime and cement your fittings and your pipe. So we're gonna start first with the primer and then we'll do piece by piece, bit by bit. And so we don't wanna rush this process. It's, um, it's like I said, it's my first time. So I do wanna make sure everything is nice and right. All right. So at this point, great people, this little spigot scenario, the cup in which they're gonna drink from, it has a spinning valve here, which is why I chose this here situation because everything is already set up to work together. And so essentially, <laughs> all I have to do is just spin at this point, spin the cup in until it's nice and tight, but obviously you don't wanna go too tight. Boom. And then I don't think you can notice it, but it is going at a down slope so that the water can travel respectfully to each and every cup. And no cup is left behind at the end of the day. So make sure my ladies have the water in which they need to succeed in these hot months. And so now what we're gonna do. So here's the fun part, great people. You can fill this up with water. It's the rewarding part of it all. All the water getting to where it needs to go. Five gallons of water. Then I have this here cap with the seal so that no water can either exit or be added to what's going on. In which we're gonna put it on there like so. Nothing too serious, so I'll be able to get it off. Ah, but we see we have a leak, ladies and gentlemen. What we don't want, uh, we have two going on. Huh. All right, let's go check the caps. So at this point, there is water. All right, drip there. Okay. Water does come out here. It's definitely not as fast as it is the other ones. All right, so we have to address this leak and then the one in the back and then everything will be leak proof.
<laughs> all right so as y'all can see i had a dilemma multiple dilemmas probably about three leaks total that i had going on in which i'm gonna have to rectify so that these lovely ladies can have everything that they need as far as water is concerned so until then what i did was put a water container which they already had in there you probably can see it just right there uh, i think there's like seven quarts so it is plenty enough for this hot heat sun but i did want to add more for them so and all with all, I'm going to make sure they are secure and have everything they need so I can have that peace of mind that, you know, all is well. They're good to go in this hot sun. So I'm going to make some adjustments. I'm going to show you what I changed up, show you what I did, and uh, keep you all posted. All right, y'all. See, here's the realness of doing DIYs, okay? You won't always get it right the first time, but you just keep going until you succeed. All right, y'all? You can do it too. All right, great people. So this is what I ended out with. Good morning, ladies. So I have here, as you can see, this spigot here is what changed the game okay so we have the spinning exit as opposed to the faucet which was not working out well but this is a spinning situation <laughs> that i'll show you the inside of the box or excuse me i have the five gallon bucket as well but you spin this situation and then it goes to this here device connect boom boom data right and so i had to cut the piece there add this here a length pvc half inch put a little turn to it little connector and then a little spin valve let me show you the inside of the bucket which allows for the water to be covered and things like that but making those adjustments is what changed the game and it allowed me to have ultimately the goal that i was going for which is an automatic water so boom shakalaka there's the water so it feeds from there um then going to there you spin it and uh, you tighten it on the outside, but there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's not the cleanest looking water, but it is good water for the ladies, okay? And so it has been raining out here. So, you know, just part of the journey, but nonetheless, let me show you the inside and then I will be good. All right, great people. So then what I also did was added a center block there to make it easier for them to jump up. Um, be curious, I just spilled over the water just to clean it all out. As you can see, you know, the debris still gets in there and things like that, which is not what you want. And so we're just going to do a little topple over like so. Boom. It comes out rather easily. My leak problem is gone. I just had to tighten it up. Right. And so we're good to go here. No drip, no leak. We're good to go. Okay. Just for people like, oh, no, 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 no. Let me just see. Let me see. Let me see. Well, now you see. There's nothing there. So, yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished this here project, which I'm excited about. Like I said, I added that for them to be able to jump up and look in there. But then I also have this here center block for them to be able to see and notice what's going on as well. Which even now, I can just go ahead and uh, add some water to the scenario so the ladies know what's going on. And uh, never wonder, where's the water? <laughs> so, boom shagalaka ladies, or everybody. <laughs>